This video is brought to you by the one and only Squarespace. If you've ever thought of starting a website, be it a business or a passion project, Squarespace is the perfect place to do just that. We got that fun though. We got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. We got that night. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV. And more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, don't worry, you do not have deja vu. Today, I while I've just filmed with this car. I've got a very special video for you today at Roy Humphrey Prestige Cars. Just before I left, I saw something that I really wanted to take out and it's inside. So come in with me. It's going to be a short and sweet video. We're going to go for a drive, but I just had to show you this because this thing is absolutely bonkers. There is a full video of this insane Aston Martin V12 Vantage S with the manual gearbox, full AMR performance package, aero package, the lot. I go into in a new video on the channel, so if you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go and check it out. We're going in here then to Roy Humphrey's prestige cars. So, we've been through some of this stock recently. A lot of it actually is sold. This car is on the channel. It is a Brabus 800. And that car is on the channel and you've got to go and listen to that as well. That's got a dump valve, believe it or not. It's 790 odd brake horsepower with 90,000 pounds worth of upgrades. However, we're not here to see that because that's already been covered. We are here today to see a Turbo S. And now you all know that I'm a huge fan of Turbo S's. I've had uh, at least two. I've got one at the moment. My brother's had one, but this is no ordinary Turbo S, which you've probably already picked up on. This, ladies and or gentlemen, is a Techart 991.2 Turbo S. So it's obviously the previous generation Turbo S, however, with a huge, huge difference. This is probably one of the fastest, the most impressive Turbo S's that's out there in the UK today. New generation included. I suspect this thing would wipe the floor with one of the new ones. It's a 17 plate and it's only done 6,500 miles. However, it's also got an upgraded Techart power system as well, which we'll get into. So I suspect this thing is even faster than the 992 generation that has replaced it. This one as a standard car has so many options, you can barely even fit it into an Instagram caption, let alone what tech art I've done to it. So let's start at the front then. First things first then, it's got 720 brake horsepower and it's actually got 902 newton meters of torque. 902, I'll let that sink in. That is absolutely insane. Top speed on this car is 212 miles an hour and 0 to 60 is quoted at 2.5 seconds, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's quicker than that. It's got a full tech art tuning and styling package. So it doesn't just look the part, it's also got the part inside it as well. It's absolutely insane. So we'll go around the car then. What is different about this particular car? The standard car had the OEM aero kit on it and pretty much every single option available anyway. And then Tech Art have added that. So on the front, you've got the kind of laser, laser guided Porsche uh, adaptive cruise control, which actually was a huge option from standard. You've got painted inserts carbon around here these wheels were actually are available on the 991.2 exclusive edition and also on the 992 turbo s so my turbo s now has these incredible lightweight center lock wheels and this has these on it as well and you'll remember the run out edition the exclusive edition of the 991.2 turbo s had these wheels as well and obviously you've got carbon ceramics which are standard on the turbo s You've got carbon wing mirrors. And you've also got these carbon aero window triangles here as well, which are frankly bonkers, absolutely bonkers. I have never seen those before. Chaos. This car has got a full panoramic glass roof. And that's what I love about Turbo S is not only have you got kind of floor wiping levels of performance, you've also got something like a full panoramic roof, which are creature comforts. And obviously four seats in this as well. This car really is a do everything car. You've also got carbon side vents there full tech art of course and at the back here you've got this carbon engine intake as well who doesn't love a scoop on the roof of a car well kind of on the roof on the back insane and also the rear wing here is now full carbon which obviously the standard car doesn't have and because it's got the aero kit from factory you've got this painted section with a flick on there as well from the back you can also tell it's a tech art edition because you've got this bonkers diffuser which if I climb on the floor very ungracefully you can see goes under there very very cool 
and you've got black tips as well. And all of this is body colored as well. It's just insane. As we go in then, let's have a look inside. It's an incredible place to be. As I touched on before, and I mentioned many times, this thing was loaded from the factory anyway, before tech art got their hands on it. So everything is carbon in here, absolutely everything. And you've got color coded and painted bits everywhere you look. So you've got the white dials to match the painted slats and to match the painted key. And you've got yellow stitching absolutely everywhere as well. Porsche crest and the headrest, the roof, as I've mentioned. And you've also got yellow seatbelts as well. And back seats, back seats as well. Name a place where you can get this level of performance, this level of driving enjoyment with four seats. Oh wait, obviously got a PDK gearbox and the full carbon interior package as well. As you can see, there's carbon inlaid everywhere. You've also got the Porsche crest on the center console there as well. And across over on your drinks holders. However, you can see the GoPros there. I think the only thing for it is to do a customary startup shot. We'll roll her out and we'll take her for a little blast. How's that sound? Here we go then, let's fire her up. Quite subdued. It's quite subdued there. So I've been told there is no exhaust button, however, put it in Sport Plus to open up the exhaust, which it definitely has done. If you listen, this is Sport and Sport Plus. Standard. Sport. Standard. All right, okay, they're gonna get annoyed if I carry on doing that. Let's get moving then. I put it into Sport Plus straight away, which extends the, uh, the front aero lip at the front, and obviously at the back as well, the, wing pops up as well so sport plus will automatically extend that it was already extended before i set off so if i actually drove not in sport plus they would all fold up and sort of into subdued mode again Ooh, there we go so i put it back in sport plus because we want it in your mode ladies and gents out into the sunshine every time i've been here the sun has been shining and the other thing that happens when you put it in Sport Plus mode, you get the PDCC light that comes on as well, which denotes the fact that the dampers have gone into their stiffest setting. Uh, not always necessary for public roads, and in fact, I would never usually really use the PDCC button for uh, public roads. So I'm gonna turn that off. Another insane option then, just as I leave, it's got full carbon floor mats in here as well. Carbon floor mats, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna have to be really, really, really careful in this because anyone that's driven a Turbo S will know a little squirt of the throttle in any conditions, you're doing 120. Doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter really, the steering wheel's straight, the car will just fix it and you will just instantly be doing far too much speed. So I'm gonna have to be very, very careful. I'm also going to put it into manual mode. So I suspect this one won't be quite as loud or as fruity as the Aston that I drove. You have got a bit of burble. Oh, Lord above. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of pace there. There will be a lot of noise from lorries and whatnot. Um, but what you might not be able to pick up is the whistling from the turbo. It's absolutely ridiculous. And obviously, PDK gearbox is the best automatic gearbox there is in the game. It is fundamentally the best gearbox you can get in any car. I'm sorry, automatic-wise anyway. But it's a bit of a punch in there as well. So on this car, performance-wise then, you've still got the 3.8 litre flat six engine comes in the Turbo S normally, there's no there's no engine replacement that's gone on, um, but what Tech Art have done, they basically just cranked it up to 10. It's got a full exhaust system on it as well. And it 
produces the same amount of power as a 720S in a usable, grippy format. So we're just going to slow down. We're going to tilt the mirror. And actually what you can see out the back there, you can see an element of that carbon scoop out the rear, which is quite imposing actually. <laughs> we have also got a fire extinguisher in here as well. The brakes are, as you'd expect, customary for a Turbo S. They are painfully good. They lurch all your organs forward, everything forward. They just grab. Christ. And as with Porsche brakes as well, there's great progression on them. It's not, they don't snatch at you, but if you jump on them, they probably grab you and just throw all your organs through the front windscreen. It's just instantaneous, that PDK. It's a tone change. But I think what's happened with this, Techart, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Porsche nerds, they know what Techart do. They've engineered some kind of uh, shunt and a little bit of like spike. When you change gear, there's a bit of a kind of a jolt. They've engineered into it. A little bit more driving excitement. There's one thing this car was accused of. It was being a little bit sterile. And what Porsche have actually corrected in the 992, this car was accused of being a little bit, um, maybe a little bit Audi, a little bit of Audi Quattro, just a bit sterile, a bit boring, a bit muted, a bit dull. And I think what Techart have done with this has actually corrected that and kind of made uh, a Turbo S GT type product uh, with 720S pace. So you've really got some ridiculous ingredients there. You've got the usability and drivability on a day-to-day -day basis of a Turbo S. You've got the devastating straight line grip of a Turbo S mated to the outright power of a 720S with some of the excitement of a Porsche GT product. I mean, doesn't really get much better than that for the money. I mean, I can quite live at it what I can really do in the boundaries of legality and morality here, driving around the streets of Norwich and Norfolk. But it's just insane to think this has got a panoramic roof. You've got a Burmester Hi-Fi. You've got an armrest here. You've got back seats. You've got service intervals that are probably, don't quote me on this, two years at least. You've got all-wheel drive. You can use this thing in the, in the rain, in the wet. You've got a rear wiper, for God's sake. I mean, it's literally everything. Short of having an estate car boot, this thing literally does it all. Driving at subdued speeds, then. We're in seventh gear on this PDK box. We're at 48 miles an hour, 50 zone. And we're just chilling. Absolutely chilling. I'm not actually needing to shout now at you guys and girls. Don't need to shout at you at all. And we're just pootling along here. We've got this incredible touchscreen in front of us. We've got DAB, Apple CarPlay, whatever you want on there, basically. It's lovely. It's lovely. I'm very happy in here. Visibility's fantastic. The seats as well. It hasn't got the carbon bucket seats. It's got these, uh, I call them fat boy seats, kind of any comfort seats, but they're actually quite bucketed as well. If you really kind of wedge yourself in there, you're not going anywhere. And they're Alcatara as well, so they're actually quite grippy. You're not sliding around anywhere on these boys. I think sometimes with comfort seats, if they are shiny leather throughout, you can just kind of swathe about on them. But here, no such uh, swathing. I don't actually know swathe is the right word for that. Price then of this car, £149,000, which puts it actually in a pretty good value territory. If you're looking at a 992 Turbo S Coupe, She's got less power than this, actually. Those are well into the 200s now. I think for a nice coupe, you're probably looking at 210, 220 grand. And Porsche have actually shut up shop and closed their factory um, because of the, uh, the Ukraine invasion. They've closed their factory and uh, because I think some of the raw materials and some of the wiring looms and whatnot have been affected by that conflict. So um, supply at Porsche is going to be a real issue this summer. Uh, 992s were thin on the ground as it is. They're all trading at a premium, um, some more than others, the GT3 and the Turbo S is um, to name a kind of couple of spiced examples, overs wise. Um, but I think we will see uh, production shortages. I mean, the production shortages anyway, that's gonna be compounded by the Ukraine-Russia situation. The semiconductor issue is not resolved yet either. So that has been causing a problem with supply. Brexit caused a problem as well uh, in the supply chain side of things. 
Um, so I think supply is going to be a real, real issue with 992s for at least 12 months. Um, so in terms of where your money sits in this car, I think this is a really, really good place to put your cash, at least for the time being. And I think when we see production um, going to anything like normality, um, once the kind of supply issues are resolved, I think we will see uh, some quite big rises actually. Retail price rises. I think they're gonna have to put prices up um, to combat things like inflation. I think RRP on the 992 is gonna jump, you know, five, 10%, I really do. So in terms of thinking, oh, I don't know whether I wanna spend 150 grand or, you know, even for a Bogo one of these, 130 I think they are, maybe 140 for a spicy one. Um, I think that's not gonna look too bad in sort of at least 12 months time. I, I think it's gonna be all right. I may be forced to eat my words on that one. Uh, I don't tend to be wrong, but I'm happy to be wrong on that. But that's what I think anyway. A little bit of market, uh, market guesswork from me there at the end of this video. Anyway, I'm delivering this back. It's an expensive car. It's not my car. Uh, as much as I'd love to absolutely uh, drag race the hell out of it and whatnot, I'm not going to do that. It's not mine. Roy Humphreys have been amazing letting me uh, out on this car. I didn't actually schedule to even take this out. I just pointed at it and said, ooh. And they said, go on, go for a spin. So hopefully you enjoyed that little run around with this very, very rare car. That's the, probably the first and last time I'm ever gonna drive a Techart Turbo S. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. As always, give Roy Humphrey a shout. If you've got a performance or prestige car you wanna come out of or you've seen anything you like, get in touch with them uh, and they are very easy to deal with. Very easy indeed. Reverse would help, wouldn't it, Tom? Yeah, let's reverse it back into the dealership. But yeah, give them a shout. And as always, uh, go and hit their Instagram as well because most of the stock, including this, is all on Instagram. All the facts, the figures, the specs, uh, videos, the sounds of the cars, you know, any of the features, they're all on Instagram. They do the Instagram really, really well, so it's well worth a follow. Even if you're not gonna buy anything, um, it's well worth just following them if you're into cars because it's done very well, actually. It's better than my Instagram. No, that's difficult. All right, for now, guys, thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, thumbs up, blah, blah, blah. And I will see you very soon. Bye. I'm back again. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, this video was brought to you by Squarespace. If you've ever had a curiosity in starting your own website, be it a passion project, just something you're interested in and a hobby, or you want to start your own business, probably more likely your own business if you're following me and you're following my antics, then keep your eyes and ears peeled because there is a special offer coming very soon with Squarespace to help you get started. Now, Squarespace has got loads of features which help your journey through that a lot easier, a lot more efficient, and a lot more effective. The first really cool feature is that Squarespace know that most people are viewing websites on their phones. So you can actually build a mobile optimized website and a desktop optimized website very easily, very simply, and very efficiently. Another really cool feature is that you can build members areas with Squarespace as well. You can build members only areas within your website as well. So not just basic websites, but a website where you can nurture and build a community. That's really, really cool. And if you're monetizing it, that's gonna be really important to you as well. Another thing particularly pertinent to e-commerce is email campaigns. They are extremely effective and they're amazing when they work well. Squarespace gives you the tools to build really nice looking, really effective email campaigns. And Squarespace isn't just about building a website you can actually go on there and get the domain from there as well so it really is all in one you just go on Squarespace and you get started you don't need to go anywhere else nice and simple now if all that sounds good and you're interested and you want to get going hit the special link below and use the code TGTV and you will get 10% off your first website as always please do send me what you're creating your websites people are doing that now via DM on Instagram and also in the comments here on YouTube I absolutely love seeing it so please do keep sharing those with me so Hit the link, it's in the pinned comment. Get going and stay in touch.